18 inch zipper and a 9 inch zipper. everybody. So, making more Lauren bags. Cause that's what I've been told to make. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thanks, Carla. Yeah, I like did my hair and my makeup somehow. <laughs> you maniac. All right, I'm going to press my zippers in a second. Um, so this Lauren bag, I'm using like scrap of fabric and I added a little overlay so it almost looks like the Emily, but smaller. So I'm going to prep my strap connectors. This one I'm using leather and it's a fairly thin leather so I don't need to skive it. I have zero Sojo. Oh, man. Uh, do you have a bag count yet? No, we don't have a bag count yet. What's your guesstimate, Tammy? I think we're at 100. You think we're at 100? Never enough. Hey, Chris. You sound like your supervisor is bossy, yeah. Yep. We have two NCWs and two Emilys and five vinyl totes. Sweet. Everyone says hi, Tammy. Hello. Hello. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are we going to go on a roller coaster ride today? Honestly, you might because it's close enough to where the bag will be. I ran out of fabric I wanted to purchase. Oh man. That's a bummer. Oof. Is there much of a difference between the Lauren and the Emily? Yes. The Emily is much bigger. Yeah, Chris, I totally agree. She said it's going to be so much fun seeing all the bags set up. With. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Aubrey. I love all the emojis making my brain happy. Very hot today. Today's been the longest day ever. <laughs> Where is Ben the Wonder Cat? I don't know where Ben is. He's not in my bed. Connor is. Oh, I did use my new makeup. He was down for a few seconds, you said? Yeah, he was helping me cut fabric, and then he was gone. Yeah. And while you were gone, he came to visit me for like two seconds, and he was like, you're boring. <laughs> right. I've been fed. I don't need anything. I'm leaving. It's good. That's how I feel when I go out, though. I've been fed. I don't need anything else. Life is good. Yeah, goodbye. Um, Allie, I won't get a new pink iron until April or late April. Oh, yay, Inga. I'm so excited to hear that. We have 
so much more coming. I'm so excited. Um, I didn't get all the same colors of Zipper by the Yard, but I did get a few, and then I did kind of like mix and match and whatnot. I can watch live streams on my TV. My husband rolled his eyes. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I'm gonna add my purse feet. Um, I think the first time I ordered Zipper by the Yard, I was thinking what would look fun instead of like, what can I use? And this time I went in more with the what can I use? So I got some good neutrals and some fun colors too. Tammy, I'm really excited for that vinyl tote. Uh, Zipper by the Yard is currently sold out. And then um, for fabric, you're going to look for the ready to ship fabric tab. It's under sewing supplies. The zipper connector. Um, no, I do not sell the Zipper Genie. It's from Pam Demore. There used to be one uh, on Etsy called the Zipper Jig, but I can't find it anymore. Or one on Amazon because I was going to send a link. Caitlin from the Bobbin Weave, I believe, asked me about it and I was like, I don't have a link. Yeah, I have Zipper by the Yard set up to disappear when it's sold out. Um, Karen, pop piping on that would work. No, there's no email wait list. Would making handles with fabric instead of vinyl be the same quality? Um, I don't know that it would be the same quality, but it would definitely still work. The zipper lady has the zipper jig. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, a fork also works. You don't have to spend a ton of money. I like the, the jig because it does just attached to the table. I know someone says she uses her God-given flotation device to hold the fork while she puts the pull on. <laughs> Whatever works. Okay. Hands protected. So, yeah, this is such a pretty leather. Um, Greta, I have a video all about Zipper by the Yard that I show how the Zipper Jig works. I'm not going to go into detail on this video. I just say go with whatever works, absolutely. I wouldn't say there's like a right or wrong way for that. All right, so one and a half, one, two, three, four, five. Using a stitch length of 4.5. Ugh, this thread is a perfect match. The thread I'm using is from Sunny Sewing Machines. It's their Tex 90. What? Oh, that vinyl? That's awesome. Yeah, it felt really nice when I was touching it at FM. And the color is really cool. Okay, 
and then on this side I'll go ahead and attach my bottom panel. Just trying to get as many pieces out of the way at once. Where'd you go? I'm going to sew next to the not through the stabilizer. Sewing through the duct tape doesn't really affect my machine. Fold that down. set this aside and work on the other main panel and then we get our lining done a saddle stitch on vinyl no I have not okay one and a half one two three four five Uh, I buy it by the yard. One, two, three, four, five. I just buy a lot of yards, so they give me a bolt. Um, the fabric I'm using is linen cotton canvas from Spoonflower. And Spoonflower is a website that prints fabric designs. You can upload your own. I'm gonna rivet those on as well. Let's see if you guys can see. Using black nickel. And with leather, you want to make sure you're not pushing too hard or it could tear. Like your blade could cut too fast and it'll end up weakening it, actually. We don't want that. Helen, that's a cute cat name. I'm using is nine millimeter by nine millimeter double face rivets. One, two, three, four, five. 
went so gently it didn't pop through. There it goes. Come on. Uh, no, I do not have a new studio. Same place, different angle. There we go. Just had to get through the layers and the tape. Did you say that one's gonna be pretty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool how it like cools it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Oh, I need to add a nameplate. Um, so let's go ahead and get the straps sewn. There you go. So I've got them, well I didn't tape them, but Tammy taped them. <laughs> Again, since this leather is pretty thin, I don't need to skive it or anything. What color is it that you want to use? <sighs> I'm going to use a lavender rainbow. Is that a rainbow? Yes. You're like, too many words, Lauren. <laughs> what hardware color? <laughs> Stitch length of five on the handles. Just the one. I'll do light gold on the other, I think. Unless you think black nickel. Crystal, that's funny. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for joining. Tammy should video bomb to say hi. When you top stitch for leather, what size stitch do you use? A size five. Hello, Cheryl. Okay. Oh, it's in the bin. <laughs> I was like, where did my zipper tab go? <laughs> Oh, Cheryl, you are welcome. Yeah, we got it in a box and weighed it, and it was less than we had estimated, so I love when that happens. But we always want to make sure we overestimate so that I'm not, you know, out the $40 for shipping. It was a big order. <laughs> yep, 
Need a refill? Yeah. I got you. Okay, folding over the top edge. Um, so since the leather isn't going to fray, this is just how I do that. Back stitch, Go slow, back stitch. stitch. Okay, and then I'm gonna work on the lining. It's just going to be that slip pocket and the zippered pocket. Boom. The zippered pocket goes on the short piece. Of course I broke my nail. Okay, so I'm going to fold over. Uh-oh. Hey, Tammy. out for those. No, I'm just kidding here. I think, um, the Golden Girls will be okay without it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I know those are so hard to see when you're cutting them. I've gotten done cutting a bag and I've looked and been like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> whoops. <laughs> oh, Jan says to say hi because you were her secret sister mm -hmm. for the swap. Yeah. Oh, you made hers and then Angie made yours. Correct. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Will black, nickel, and rainbow rivets get restocked? Yes. However, because of the Chinese New Year, it will be a hot minute. <laughs> Stick some tape around your nail. Oh, that's not a bad idea. We are also suffering. But we'd rather that all of them are safe before returning to work. I mean, at least I would. Um, my handmade space has really nice zippers, so you could try there. Okay. Oh, yay. Thank you, Helena. I'm glad it was easy for you to make. I had awesome testers for this bag. So we could make sure it fit all kinds of skill levels. a divided slip pocket kind of like the Emily bag Tracy. I'll keep that in mind for next time. 
picture my sewing BFF Tess. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> okay, so that one's ready. Yeah, Cheryl, I'm in the same old boat. I'm waiting on fabric myself. And that's just to fulfill orders, but again, we just hope that they all stay safe. Because we will live. Yeah, it definitely stinks waiting. I, yeah. Anytime I send an email to a supplier, I'm like, you guys okay yet? Can you make my stuff? <laughs> oh my gosh, that new post cereal commercial. Did you guys see that one where it's like an outer space wrap or something? It was part of the commercials for Legacies. And I was just like, what is happening? I guess I didn't pay attention. <laughs> is it possible easy to put a slip pocket inside the Lauren? Yes, we just did. Hey, Cindy. Gonna press this. And that's why I don't wear socks. Good one. No, but honestly, I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna press my zipper one more time. Did I already rant to you about my sandwich from Jimmy John's? Yes. Yeah. Remind me I don't like it as much as I think I do. They even forgot to put on the cheese the first time. I was like, you paid a dollar extra. Dollar for avocado. It was nothing. I even took a picture. It looked like somebody blew their nose in my sandwich. I was just like, seriously? I paid a dollar? I paid a dollar for this?
Cutting in zippers is easy after about the 4,000th one. I'd say it's probably about how many zipper pockets I've done in my life. Make that 4,001. <laughs> Empty bin club. Oh, well. How rude of me to have thrown it on the floor, though. Nameplate. Black nickel. Like, where did they go? <laughs> yeah, the zipper template, you can also use code so whatever for some money off. I can't remember how much. I think it's like 15%. And it's not an affiliate link. Just so y'all are aware. I don't make money when you buy it. It's just awesome. Okay. I really do love what I do. Most days. I do too. <laughs> That's good. How long have I been live? 32 minutes. How long have I been alive? 27 years. 22. 22 years. 21 years. I'm almost. <laughs> no, this is not fabric that I sell. Let's add the top zipper. Waterproof canvas I am working with for the lining. Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. That you did not get notified. I hate when that happens. I'm going to use doubles. No, I'll just use this. Um, my nameplate is my business name, which is more me, no, which is my last name spelled out in a way that people can actually pronounce it. All right, centering my zipper. And then that glue is just gonna help hold it in place. And that is Fabri-Tac. Fabri-Tac glue, Fabri-Tac. Fabri oh, goodbye. Um, you sent the info for the bottle. I, I can't remember if I did now or not, but I know that I didn't order it yet. Send it again. Um, I actually don't use a lot of like double sided tape to hold my zippers in place. So I really do like the glue because you don't need much and it really does hold. How big do you cut your vinyl zipper tabs? Two and a half by one inches and then I'll trim it down a little bit. All right, we're gonna move the camera out of the bag's way. What's up? Oh, me too. Did I change my mind? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> huh, yeah, I thought I did too. Maybe when you were cleaning up, Maybe it was, maybe it jumped over. I was like, no. Yes. Sorry. I just needed to see it in the light a little bit better. Okay. And then just like last night, we're only going to top stitch through the exterior. Oh, I thought you were beating it like you had a question. Yeah. No Lauren Quake today.
So there's one side. Got my nameplate attached, so we're good. And then I'll attach the other side zipper. And then we're gonna top stitch the bottom and put the bag together and it's done. This is brown leather. And as I'm adding this, I'm really just tapping like a little string of glue. I'm not using a lot. If you gloop it up, once you press, it'll squeeze out everywhere. So you really don't want to use like a lot of this glue. Just a little bit. And it does dry pretty quick. At least mine that's kind of dried out does dry pretty quick. Um, you can also baste your zipper in place. I think I'm going to on this side just because the strap connectors touching kind of creates some movement. So I'm just basting the zipper in place so it doesn't shift on me. There we go. And this is the zipper by the yard that I had on my website. It is all sold out. Um, but it's nice because it's kind of, kind of nylon. It is nylon, but it just sits nicely. I don't know. I have a video about nameplates. If you search my name and all about nameplates, you will find it. They're ordered in China. Uh, the stack behind me, those are tote bags that I need to sew. I was like, what bag? Stack. They just need their handles and to be top stitched. And I don't feel like doing it right now. Shut up. You're right, but shut up. <laughs> yeah. messed up here so I have to re-sew it wait what happened I don't even know at this point that's my basting so where did I sew it can you see the basting no I don't know what I did but I'm still gonna re-sew it that's better. All right, so then you keep your linings on top of each other and fold over the main panel. I like to keep my zipper zipped for this. All right, Bob, then just get me through the top stitching, all right? So then we'll unzip it about halfway, fold over the bottom panel to match up down here. panel. Unzip the top. Make sure it's sitting flat. And put this under the machine.
Um, I wouldn't say that this table is custom made for the Juki, but most industrial machines like this do come with a table. This is just the one that came with my machine. All right, so now we're gonna sew this panel and try not to knock over the camera. Start with a wider seam allowance in the bottom. Taper to half an inch. So next two, but not three zipper tabs. Trim down the seam allowances, especially at my zipper. Whoa. And then we're gonna square the bottom of the bag. Um, I pieced this together first and then we interfaced it with Decoville light on the main panel. Just in case you're wondering. The piecing is not part of the pattern, but you could really do whatever you want. So along the bottom panel. Bobbin's still good. Trimming down the excess fabric on that side bottom seam, but not too much. Because you don't want to cut through any threads. Repeating on the other side. Ugh, not one. It's okay. Yep, I knew we were getting close. And this is going to be part of the, con the stuff at a convention I'm selling. Inventory prep. All right, so now we're ready to birth the bag. How much am I taking? I'm not sure. Everything. <laughs> That's true, we're leaving six scarves. <laughs> so true. Uh, will I do a photo? So I'm actually going to do um, like a video vlog like I did last year because I think it's really cool to be able to see the progress. And then I may do a live like walking around the show floor 
so you guys can see what it's like in there. It's a madhouse. <laughs> okay, so pulling the rest of the lining through that zippered pocket. I'll make sure I'm awake. Well, we'll see. No promises. The show hours, I think, are 10 to 6, Friday, Saturday, 10 to 4 on Sunday. He'll just be there, is that what you said? Well, you kind of have to be. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be awake. Yep. Making coffee. That's right. I hope. Not that you have to or anything. But. I'll make it for me, but you can have some. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, I was talking to CJ about it. I was like, I really want your help. Like, I feel like I'm in charge of five people worrying about what we're going to eat and how we're going to get there, etc. So if you could help me, that would be great. He's like, oh, yeah, I could do that. I can, like, call the Ubers and stuff. And I was like, yeah, cool. I, if you just let me know what time we need to be ready, I can help make sure everybody's ready. I'm like, great, thanks. Yeah. Although we can also just do two different Ubers and have like a morning crew and a mid morning crew because it's almost cheaper if David comes to just do two separate Ubers. You know? Because it's like $10 for a small one and $20 for a big one. That type thing. Still cheaper than parking. What? I said, you know me, I do that morning food. Right. Appreciate it, because... <laughs> Although I do for shows. You do. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We'll wake up for coffee. And then we'll make two more. Yeah, yeah. bin what color is it is it gray gray yeah cut me one of those just 18 five whatever okay i know it was six okay. to restore the leather Chicago, I'll come drive you around. <laughs> we 
just need to get from Chinatown to McCormick Place. All right, pressing my lining inside, finally lining up the corners, zip it up. Um, how far from home? It's about four and a half, five hours, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can I just trim this one? Uh, to be shorter? Yeah. No. Because okay. six inches is already pretty short. Okay. This one. What size is it? It's, it kind of goes on an angle. Oh. So. What are we holding on to it for? I don't know. I was like, well, it's an awful long piece. I didn't mean... That's true. Mm -hmm. You never know. It might come in handy for zipper pins. Okay. Yeah, that's actually very true. <laughs> um, how am I getting everything there? A trailer on my van. Yeah, and this one's interfaced with Woven Fuse and Decaville Light. Um, you could also add foam... Um, yeah, we have so much, but, um, in all honesty, uh, and being transparent, I mean, anyone could look this up. Being a vendor there is $3,000. That's mm -hmm. how much I've paid for my booth space. So, gotta let have it, gotta have a lot of inventory to make that money back. <laughs> That's right. Because the whole point is to make a profit. <laughs> It is a lot of money for Decaville light. You can also use foam and woven fuse and that would be kind of nice, but it wouldn't really give it that like. Um, no, I can't recommend a machine with a lot of different stitches. I don't really know much. Are you planning to make the bowler bag as a sew along? Um, you mean the how you do in bowler? Cause I've already done that one. I'm gonna sew on these handles because with leather I always worry about riveting. Um, Heather, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. We're just gonna keep sewing. So I'm gonna push everything out of the way. Sew the handles on. Mrs. H bowler bag? Probably not. I haven't seen the pattern though, so hard to say. Oh, thank you, Heather. I appreciate it. Okay, I need to protect my hardware. bags will I be taking? Uh, I think we've got a hundred or so at this point, but I don't just sell bags. I sell totes and zipper pouches and hair bows and clothing, which I don't make, but I design the fabrics for and neckties and wristlets. What am I missing? Kimonos, men's shirts, pinup dresses. Well, 
Just to go in deeper. Going deeper, yes. Okay. Oh, she cute. Tunics. Tunics. Kimonos. Skirts. Yeah. Okay. Can't keep looking at it. I have to go on to the next one. All right. Oh, okay. I was like, why not? I don't even know what's next. Oh, on a mansion. Cool. All right. So, I'll use purple thread on this one. Oh, wait. Yeah. Do I have this? Yeah, that'll be perfect. comment. I just set up my sewing room and I don't know if you've seen it but the free trash can pattern you have. Oh, my uncle loved it. Oh very cool. I'm gonna use the canvas vinyl and promo vinyl. Should I use Decaville light? Um, use heavy on the bottom. Um, do you want me to sew one together now? So you have... Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that sounds great. You're like, Lauren, how long am I working today? <laughs> I still have so much to do. I guess we never really talked about how long you'd be working today, just that I needed you to. How do I fuse Decaville on vinyl with my heat press? If you're using an iron, you would use, have your vinyl face down, Decaville on top, and then a pressing cloth. Boop, 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 boop. All right, let me go pick out an antique gold zipper. Congratulations, Black, you are the winner. Mm -hmm. Yay! Thank you for being a friend. No, oh, thanks. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I was thinking light gold with the blue. Pink for the lining. If you get there. If you don't, it's okay. Um, yes. Yes. The light pink, yes. Yeah. Then probably taupe with the gray, and then what? You just put. No, right okay. I, that's what I thought. I was like, no, 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 it's out. That's why I said it. <laughs> Nickel. Yeah? Or is there something we're missing of black nickel? Remind me again what we need. One inch square rings. Purse feet. Zipper end, that's what we're missing, but we can do rainbow for that. Like we did on the other thing. Yes. Um, Triangle buckles. 
yeah. And then a crossbody strap hardware, so a slide adjuster and two snap bows. <laughs> I want them both regular. Okay. Yeah. Thought I didn't, but I do. Because I thought about it, and we have that TARDIS with that same blue that's crossbody only. Right. And I was just like, eh, people can custom order if they want. Uh, the vinyl is from Bo D.O. And it's really neat. Um, it's like speckled gold. It looks really cool with antique. Oh, cool. The booth number is 577 at C2E2. And we're near the yard, which is not outdoors, but it's something new they're trying where they're going to have like people drinking and, or they have like beer and. Uh, my handbags bring all the boys to the yard, and they're like, I'll buy it for my girlfriend. Damn right. No, I'll buy it for me. I don't know. Hey, I could teach them, but I'd have to charge. That was awful. Feel bad for the people watching. We have two corner booths. I'm so excited. Yeah. There's no room for that. Um, Brittany actually needed a stool, but when I went back to the one we were looking at on Amazon, I realized that the cost of the, the stool was like $98, which I was like, okay, we can reuse it. But then it's $78 to ship it. Brittany, I love you and I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> Just don't come. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. What? Test. Sure. Yeah. It was just crazy that it was that much shipping and it was Amazon, which is not always free shipping. I know how Amazon works, but I was like, oh, um, no. Yeah, but when you're used to free shipping, then it goes. Right. Uh, yes, there will be many videos of the booth. And if you guys um, go into my video history and look for C2E2, you'll find last year's video. That was cute. What am I looking for? First feet. Boom, 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 boom. I was like, did you do it on purpose? Did you forget the slider on purpose? First feet. There's that. Zipper pulls. Yeah. Two. Two. Yes. I was getting there. <laughs> it's all good. I knew there was something else. I know, I was like, wait, are you forgetting anything? Do you want to do a flower one for the inside? Um, which one? Oh, wait, we don't have light gold, do we? No. <laughs> it's fine. gold. I'm not going to put rose gold inside. I was like, Tammy, what did I just say? Flower or rose? Like, <laughs> you want black or 
Yeah. We could do that. Did you pull zippers for these? Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. What would I do? Yeah, the flowers are being discontinued. I'm trying rollerblading today. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'll be going roller skating tonight. I'm not gonna fall, guys. I hope. <laughs> Don't fall. I have a lot to do, but I still wanna go. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? I keep thinking tomorrow's Thursday, and I'm like, <laughs> I know. I even said that to my dad and grandma taking them to the airport. I was like, so what is today? <sighs> yeah. Take a break. Correct. Yep, just need it for the lining. Yeah. You can you can show me which ones you are unsure about too. Oh. Yeah. Don't need this pocket That's true. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Um, normally I charge 85 for the Lauren, and then because it's leather, it's gonna be a $20 upcharge. So it'll be, uh, ah, I'll just round it out to 100. Because it doesn't take that long to make. <laughs> Oof. How long do we do the zip? I mean, slip? It is the main panel. I tried to make it multi-purpose. Yep, on the fold, one of those. I did a fold over with this fabric combo. It looked really good. Um, so to anybody who is watching and needs to order hardware, um, we will be leaving Wednesday uh, in two weeks. What day is that? The 20th? 26th? No. Yes, but after Wednesday we won't be right. shipping. So let's see. 29th is Saturday, 8th Friday, 27th, Thursday, so 26th. Yes, okay, so make sure you have your hardware order by the 26th. Because orders won't be shipped until after March 1st. After that. And then hopefully we can restock some things late March. But I'll be sure to let you guys know when and what. Yeah. <laughs> Is he still being a 
a little butthead about it? No. That's good. Not at the moment. Good night. Here's the potatoes. Oh, thank you. Do I do shows in Michigan? I have not yet. I definitely won't get to this year, but maybe next year. Or maybe never. Okay, dokie. So I like to get as much of my hardware out of the way as possible. And we can move on. Oh, thank you, Wanda. Glad you could join us. Sorry if I'm not being too descriptive about what I'm doing. After I make one, I'm pretty much in the zone to just make it, if that makes sense. Okay, got my zipper tabs added. I'm gonna top stitch them. Becca. Yeah, I'm excited to see all the new YouTubers and people who are streaming while sewing. It's just relaxing to watch too. And I don't get to, I can't really watch myself. That's creepy. Or narcissistic. I don't know. And I'm not that. Well, I'm creepy, but... Ugh, this would look really cute with the Lola side accent panel. Anyway. Why do you pull your zipper pulls all the way to the end when you were putting them on? Uh, yes. Oh, thank you, Laura. Laura says thanks for packing my order, Tammy. <laughs>
add rivets. Let's move on to the interior. <laughs> it's a race to see who can fill or empty as many bins. Oh, thanks. Double-sided tape along the raw bottom edge. This just helps me keep it in place a little bit better. How do we communicate outside this chat? Um, I do have a group on Facebook called So Whatever. Um, I need to sit down and accept members, but you can come join there to talk about sewing and cats. I have not used Chicago screws. I've always wanted to, but I'm too lazy. Too lazy. you could join us. Okay, so along the bottom. I can go a lot faster when I'm not talking to you. I'm using is from Sunny Sewing Machines still. like top stitching on jeans. Looks cool. <laughs> okay, 
So there's our slip pocket. What the purple pattern name you were working with? Um, I watched some of the girl videos that collect luxury bags. They mentioned bags, been heavier, light, bull, small, big. Not is it a question. It could just be um, like the amount of interfacing used because I have some bags that are really heavy, that are smaller, etc. Leather can be really heavy, especially when you add more interfacing to it. Zipper pocket on the small side. Oh, I have to talk. Did you see you have reached 24,000 subscribers? Yes, I did, and it's insanity. I'm trying to pretend it's only 24. Because it's scary. They're done? No. Oh. I just did the lining. Oh, you scared me. I'm trying to unfold the pink. Pink, and it's in the way. Okay, I was like, have you gone faster? Yes. Well, you don't need to be. That's the thing. I mean, you are getting faster, but. Uh, interfacing, yeah, would make a bag heavier as well as the metal used. Is quilting cotton not okay for lining? Of course it's okay for lining. How do I determine rivet length that I need? Do you have a cheat sheet? I do not. I just use the 9 millimeter for everything. If you're working with really thick leathers, you're going to want something a little bit thicker. Maybe like an 11 millimeter post. to Italy. All right, so I'm gonna press this. Do you sometimes find yourself talking, explaining when you are just sewing and not live? Um, I don't think so. No. Tammy says no. <laughs> I'm only talking when live. Is it chow? Chow? Oh, I messed up. Oh, oh I'd already done it. Okay, great. So I'm gonna press this. <laughs> Synthetic thread is better than cotton. Yeah, I would say that's pretty accurate. Okay. Top stitch my zipper into place. Is that your husband? Mm -hmm. You can talk on the phone, it's okay. That's true. You gotta clock out for personal phone calls. No, I'm just kidding. Pocket almost finished.
Keep that unzipped. Everything together. Start with the long pieces. Hello, Tiffany. Down, centered. Um, using the Fabri-Tac saves me the time of basting it in place, so I guess otherwise not really. How long is shipping turnaround on your website? Um, if you're ordering fabric, or um, not fabric, hardware, it's about 24 hours shipping turnaround. Yeah, the glue, um, I could probably take it or leave it, but I do like the extra security it gives to hold the zipper in place. Because I get like very little wonk when I use the glue. But you can see it does take a little extra time to baste the zipper. Are you guys doing the gym tonight? Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's okay. What time is it? It is... What? <laughs> okay, I'll finish this bag and hop off. Because I have to make dinner. Yeah. And tell Jesse I'm going. It'd be funny if she was like, oh, I'm not. And I'd be like, well, all right, I guess I'm staying home. Oh, it's all good. I might, if I get to it, but I doubt it, I would do the, um that one bag that I've been talking about. Yeah. The hobo, yeah. Uh, 
um, Ben is sleeping or something. Yeah. He knows he's wanted, so he's far away. Mm -hmm. mm, darn. I could have top stitched with that, but I'd rather have a bob and I can get through the whole bag with. Yeah. on this side. Um, I have not used her in purse feet, but I would like to try. They seem really cool. Um, the color thread that I'm using is color 3130, I think. It's like a really pretty gold. It matches really nicely. No, that's awesome. You know I'm not going to get to it. <laughs> I have to go build Josie's desk tonight and sit with Flossie. What? I said, Ben, come down and see his thing take me to get up. It's true. Then he'd lay on the fabric. And he'd be like, well, this is what happens. <laughs> you put things on my spot. I sit on your spot. work today thank you you worked harder than me I mean you usually do but that makes sense sounds good First things forced. For, forced. First things forced. <laughs> Orders first. Orders. Yeah, I, I literally don't know how I used to do everything. <laughs> I just did less, I guess. More, less sleep.
Thank you, Stephanie. And I'm sorry if I'm missing comments, you guys. My phone is kind of far enough away that it's hard to read, especially when they're really long. So thank you guys for answering each other's questions. I appreciate it. Especially since I'm like in the zone now. I want to get it done. I am on Instagram, yes. If you type in sewing with Lauren, you will find me. And that's where I like to post um, updates and fun little clips for videos. I don't like to post too much like that and so whatever because it feels oddly spammy. I don't know. Watching so, your videos has inspired me to sew again. Thank you for sharing your wisdom and techniques. Oh, thanks. Oh, wait, here, will you take this? Oh, I was gonna throw it at you, but yeah, I guess I shouldn't. <laughs> you can just set it over there. Thank you. Bonjour. Keychains? May as well while you're thinking of it. You get a keychain. You get a keychain. Everybody gets a keychain. <laughs> arthritis. I have no doubt I'll need hand transplants by the time I'm older. Thank you for sending me your time. I appreciate you and I appreciate you keeping track of it. <laughs> I appreciate you too. <laughs> Enjoy it. Which making?
we can put right, here. Your lining in place. Hello, Peggy. Push out the corners. So what I'm doing to easily push it out is putting my hand inside in between the lining and the exterior to push on those side corners and push it out all the way a little bit easier without breaking the nail. Okay, and then I'll add a woven tag and get the handles on and this bag is done. So I finished two in like an hour and a half-ish. They're pretty quick bags once you get going. And you can batch sew them as well. Oh, I lost a... That's funny. I lost a knob on a drawer. Oh, thank you, Penelope. Thank you. It's so fun to just get to hop on and share some tricks while I'm working anyway. I think that's my favorite part about doing lives. I feel bad that I haven't done as many like pre-film tutorials, but these are just so much easier to put out content because I'm able to work anyway. I get to chat with you guys. Will there be another earthquake? No, thank goodness. Yeah, the bag yesterday was really cool. And I made a few. <laughs> okay, so the wrinkles in the bag kind of um, will go away over time. almost feels plain now that there's no like vinyl accents or anything but it's still cute sorry I really needed I'm a mouth breather so I need to apply lip gloss often I'll zoom you guys back out If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm about to hop off this video, but it will stay up, of course. Yeah, this bag turned out really cute. And I'll be adding rivets. I just love this vinyl, or yeah, this vinyl with it. It's got a neat texture as well. Ben and Connor, they're doing good. Aw, thanks, Chris. Trying to decide which design 15-year-olds would want. Oh, yeah. Apparently, old lady florals are very popular with 15-year-olds. Um, adding foam to the mini backpack? No, I, I use foam. What can you use instead of rivets? Um, you can just sew it together and instead of rivets but made an order yeah they've got great vinyls one two three four and the one i'm using here this one is from bodio i believe and i think once i get to twenty five thousand subscribers i'm gonna do a really big giveaway with all kinds of things so i'm excited for that Well, thanks, Michelle. This vinyl is really thick, though, since it's kind of a fuzzy backed one. So I gotta go through the straps separately.
Um, how much do I sell these totes for? 85 is the starting price. Oh, thank you for joining. Generally, they seem to like crossbody. Yeah, that's true. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, it's crazy to me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Elizabeth. My chair is very comfortable. I sit in it for hours a day. Here we go. All right, one more rivet and we're done. All kinds of sewing. Yeah, that's what's fun. Sewing is like a... I can't remember. I can remember when you didn't think you would even, yeah, get to 500, Eleanor. I know it's crazy. Um, yes, like what Nikki said, I have two different presses because for as many rivets as I attach, it's worth it to not have to screw and unscrew. Um, this fabric is the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. It's a ride at Disney Land and World. Do it, Jess, make the bag. Um, and to anybody watching, feel free to make videos using my bags. I'll never say don't do it. Feel free to change up parts of it that whatever you like. Going to Disney World in March, that's so cool. My family's going to be there, but I won't. You can attach with the press. That's so cool. Sponsored. No, not sponsored. All right, yeah. So this is the finished bag. Super cute. Uh, purple is not my favorite color. Pink is my favorite color. Huh. Good eye. There's still a clip on it. Pink is, yeah, pink. Purple's pretty too. I'm not mad at purple. So yeah, we finished two bags, you guys. That's awesome. Oh, got something done today. My husband's home. So yeah, there's the two bags we finished. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out, you guys. Don't forget, there's a giveaway going on. And you can win one of these fat quarter bundles. So I'll see you guys later.